Hello YouTube and Facebook followers. This is Half Man, Half Cichlid. Uh, I've got some exciting news. I mean, for me, this is uh, the first video that I'm producing with my new Panasonic 4K camera. So I can put away the uh, iPad that I've been using for the last four years and uh, have a whole new set of exciting capabilities using a a video camera. The second thing, which is really the big news, is uh, I've been able to achieve a an environment for three of my aquariums where there's essentially zero nitrates, where the systems I have in place consume the nitrates produced by a heavily populated tank in this case my 500 gallon, the systems can consume and convert those nitrates uh, and, and, and reduce the nitrates uh, and I, I, without water changes. So this is something I've been working on for four years. I've tested a number of technologies. I've locked in on some methods which I've been working on tweaking. And that's what this video is going to be out about. That journey, but mostly on the doing, what I'm doing that has enabled what I consider to be a big breakthrough for me and uh, a big breakthrough opportunity for anybody in the hobby who would like to have their fish swim in a much healthier environment and reduce the maintenance on their aquariums. Now the first key component of a uh, zero nitrate system is the elimination of canister filters and replacement uh, with a sump. Now the big advantage to a sump of course is all the biomedia and uh, the ability to convert the fish waste, the urine, the ammonia, the feces directly into nitrates very quickly and if you set up the sump right that conversion can occur in one pass of your aquarium water through the sump. Now why is that important? You know a, a canister filter will hold on to that waste and will become a holding tank and and allow that taste that uh, that uh, those nitrates to leach into your aquarium slowly and over time. Well, the sump, you can do that conversion really quickly, number one. Number two, make those nitrates then available to be removed, you know, whatever your preferred method is, a water change or a, using an aquaponic grow bed or some other system. In my, in my case, I use an aquaponic grow bed, which I'll talk about in a, min, in a minute. But again, in, in a canister situation, the waste takes quite a while to convert to harmless nitrates. The canister filter becomes essentially a holding tank for release of nitrates. And it works against having a zero nitrate uh, system. The second uh, ingredient for success and elimination of uh, nitrates and I learned this from studying what the guys and gals do in the saltwater hobby where nitrates can be lethal to corals and other microorganisms and where the sensitivity to nitrates obviously then is much more uh, acute. So what I've done is I've el essentially eliminated the substrate. I've replaced it with a uh, aqua decor bottom mat. I've thrown a, in a little bit of, of black gravel so the fish have something to play play around with. But for the most part, there is no substrate where in a typical aquarium, uh, and I'm ta talking more gravel than sand, the fish feces and other waste will penetrate through and into the gravel and then 
the gravel becomes like a canister filter, a nitrate holding tank, which uh, slowly digests, much slower than in, in a sump, slowly digest, digests the waste and converts it into nitrates, which uh, then move into the, uh, the water in your aquarium. Now the third, and in my experiments, the most uh, important part of the system is uh, my aquaponic grow bed. This thing has been running for about a year. It's 60 gallons. We've got various uh, terrestrial plants that, that have been uh, adapted to a uh, aquatic, semi-aquatic environment. They uh, grow like crazy. In fact, uh, they keep growing the way they have. I'm going to have to buy a small machete to keep up uh, with all of the plant growth, tongue-in-cheek. Anyway, the, the, you know, the significant growth is a clear indicator of the waste products, the nitrates, the ammonia, uh, the other nutrients that the fish in the uh, 500 gallon aquarium are adding to my uh, tank water. So uh, just to, to kind of replay how these systems work together, the, uh, when the fish produce feces, urine, ammonia, they are pulled through to the sump, go through an aeration chamber to accelerate the uh, nitrogen cycle. I've got various media, media which I cover in uh, other videos that are uh, best in class for conversion to nitrates. The, uh, any of the food that might fall in the bottom doesn't get deposited into the substrate. Instead, it, it gets swept. I've got a 2,500 gallon per hour power head that sweeps that waste up into the water column so it can be removed and then uh, ran through the sump where it's quickly converted to nitrates. And then lastly, and very importantly, the water that exits the sumps, which is now uh, heavy with uh, the nitrates from this cycle, get pumped over to the aquaponic grow bed where the nitrates are, are consumed and converted into uh, plant matter. So anyway, that's essentially how the three systems interact. The sump, the no substrate bottom, and the aquaponic uh, uh, grow bed to uh, eliminate the nitrates. And uh, for those of you who haven't been to my channel before, you, you'll notice that I have a heavily stocked tank with large predators, predator hap haps, and some regular haps. I do feed my fish a lot because they grow, they grow big. And uh, still, I'm able to uh, have a situation where the nitrates are now being consumed by the aquaponic grow bed faster than they are being produced by by uh, the fish themselves. And I'll provide a little bit of detail, more detail in the video. To share with you the uh, detail on what happened to the nitrates in terms of their measurement, on June 14th, I did a water change and post water change, I measured the nitrates and, and they were 20 parts per million. Uh, today, I measured the nitrates. There have been no water changes for four weeks and the nit nitrates measured out at 10 parts per million. Obviously the systems I've described in this video 
uh, have consumed all the nitrates that were produced during that one month period and actually brought the level of nitrates down in the aquarium by 10 parts per million. 